Now at 10, families picking up the pieces tonight after a devastating fire destroys 24 units at a Henrico apartment complex. We have the latest after yesterday's massive blaze. Plus, a new study revealing Virginians rate in the top 10 of the country for food waste. Experts now urging you to be mindful of how you're shopping at the grocery store. And the Chesterfield Fair is underway right now. We have a look at all the festivities happening on day two. We start tonight with developing news in Hopewell, where a teen is fighting for his life after getting shot multiple times overnight. Hopewell police is still in the early stages of the investigation. Jennifer Blake joins us with the very latest as authorities work to piece together what happened. Police aren't releasing the name or the age of the victim at this time, only that when they got to the scene here on Berry Street, they found a, quote, juvenile male needing immediate medical help. This is the seventh shooting in Hopewell just this month. We've got room to improve. Hopewell police say when it comes to stopping gun violence, Friday afternoon around 4.30, a young male was shot multiple times outside of a convenience store on the corner of Berry Street and Arlington Road. Police say when they got there, they found the boy with multiple gunshot wounds. They rushed him to the hospital where he's now fighting for his life. This shooting comes after Hopewell police say that violent crime had actually been down. We're at about a 45% reduction in um, shooting incidents, or gun violence incidents. But Hopewell authorities telling us this week that they still need the community's help and cooperation to solve violent crimes like this one. One way of doing that, by getting involved with the Real Life organization. It's a violence prevention initiative that can provide you with resources. There's currently no word on suspects or anybody else involved in last night's shooting. If you know anything about this shooting, you're encouraged to call Hopewell Police or Prince George Crime Stoppers. Jennifer Blake, Fox Richmond. Now let's take a live look from the lens of our sky cam. Another beautiful night here across the River City. Just look at that gorgeous skyline. If you, if you forgot it was August, don't worry. The temperatures have just been nice to us this week. But the big question now, will it last? Joining us now, meteorologist Khalil McIver has the latest on the rest of our forecast for this weekend. Khalil? Well, we're going to be looking at some more sunshine on the way tomorrow and probably going to be looking at another picture. Perfect uh, um, sight this time tomorrow night as we see sunny skies continue to dominate our weather as we head overnight or rather tomorrow. But seeing temperatures right now, we're falling into the 60s and the 70s across the region. 66 here in Richmond, 68 in Hanover, 70 in Fredericksburg and 64 in New Kent and 59 in Wakefield. And as Desi said earlier, the weather has been treating us rather nicely and on, on one of the factors into that is just the dew points at the we've seen kind of a lack of humidity despite the fact that we're in the middle of mid to late August right now the dew points have we're basically in the 50s across much of the region 58 currently in Richmond but these dew points and the humidity will be returning next week right now winds are going to be calm for right now the winds are somewhere out of the southeast at around seven miles per hour at the airport and three miles per hour at Chesterfield here again first uh, our Doppler radar here showing pretty much a clear scan here and that's because of high pressure overhead and we'll be seeing that at least for the next couple of days or or two and as we now look at the temperatures across the region here again somewhat below average for the time of year, but we're seeing more heat on the way in the Middle West. That'll be here next week. I'll break that down for you coming up in your full forecast in just a few minutes. Back to you, Desiree. Thank you so much, Khalil. We continue to follow the aftermath of that devastating apartment building fire in Henrico's West End yesterday. It happened around 1.30 and took crews hours to control. Today, fire and water damage destroying 24 apartments and leaving 40 to 50 people without a home. Two firefighters and a resident were taken to the hospital after suffering from burns, but they are all expected to be okay.